Hey, hi. Uh, grab your pen and paper. Grab something to drink. This is the plum paper uh, planner that I'm going to show you. If you are new to planning, even if you're not, like I will watch planner videos for beginners to get some ideas too. So if you are, you know, a seasoned planner like I am, welcome. I know you'll find something in this video. If you are looking at planning and you're just getting into it, I hope you find something in this video that will help you. I'm gonna make sure we are in screen. This is the plum paper. It is completely customizable. This is a student planner that I created for myself. This was from 2020. And I don't know what happened in 2020, to be honest with you, but man, I was planner finicky. I have so many different planners for 2020. Some of them I didn't even use. So I don't know if I was doing like planner reviews. I don't know what I was thinking, but I had a box in my closet filled with old planners. Another reason I tell you not to throw out your planners. You may need them again. So again, this one is completely customizable. You go to Plum Paper um, and you walk through their process of creating your own planner. They're a little more expensive. So I would definitely, if you are going through this video with me and you see a layout that you like, pause, take a screenshot, set it up in like a spiral notebook, test the layout for a week, see if you love it. If there's something that doesn't work in this layout for you, make a note of it. And then when you go to their website, change that out. Okay. So you've got your future log, you've got special dates. Now you're not locked into this. Okay. If you want to white out this special dates or put a different kind of sticker over this, you can make this into whatever you want. It is pre pre filled in with the dates. You can change that too. This is all customizable on the website. Ideas, plans, and goals, another 12 boxes. These are blank, customizable. So as, as you're looking at this, is there anything that comes to mind that you would fill, fill these with? And if so, write them down on your paper. So if you're thinking, gosh, I could put in here January birthdays, or I could put in January goals, or January books I wanna read, February books I wanna read, February goals, whatever comes to mind, write that in there. And then, the same for this one. You can change this from idea plans and goals to maybe this is this is where you want to be financially in 12 months. Like these are your financial goals. These are your spiritual growth uh, goals. These are your therapy goals. These are these are anything that you want them to be. Totally customizable. And then there's a note page on the back here. And then we pop into the month. Now this is in October. I must have ordered this in September and then had them add three months. Oh no, this is just a three month book. Okay. All right, so quarterly. Actually, that's kind of smart because if I would have used it, I would have figured out in three months if I liked it or not. So October monthly highlights. You've got goal number one, goal number two, and goal number three. You've got your birthdays, events, things to remember, and then a lighter header here with nothing on it that you can put whatever whatever you want. October page, completely lined, but blank, so you can create whatever you want on that page, or nothing at all, it's okay. Sunday to Saturday start, um, I feel like this is common with most planners. If I was going to use this, I would definitely cover up the days and I would redate this so that it was a Monday through Sunday. Um, I like how it has the calendar down here for the next month and that it's got holidays marked. It's perfect. Sidebar is here. It's a dotted. It's not a solid line, which is also nice. Everything is a really nice color. Very, very easy. Okay, so this is how I set it up. This was for work. Um, I am going to say for sure. I've got two priorities each day. These are gray colored because this is still the month of September. And then we pop into October and then we have the green. I'm going to say that, yeah, it's going to match whatever color the tab is, which is great. So we've got this week here. It's a horizontal layout instead of a vertical. So your days are going to go across this way. Again, customizable. Up at the top, uh, obviously, this is when we were supposed to check our timesheets every single day. So I wrote this on there so that I could mark it off. This is like a habit tracker or something you know you need to do 
during that week. Now, Saturday and Sunday could have been left off again because I was using this for my work week. I believe that's why I combined Saturday and Sunday. And if you're going to do that and you do purchase a planner that has Saturday and Sunday in there, don't fret. You can cover these two up. You can cover this whole thing up. You can use this as a percentage of how well you did for the week. And then down here, you can cover up this right here with either a sticker. You, like I said, you can use the white label maker paper and you can just cover that and write over it something that you want there. And it can be anything. It can be meetings I have next week. It can be things I need to do next week, forward to next week. You know, those things that during the week you keep track of and you're like, I know I'm not going to get it done. This is Friday at two. I need to put that over on next week. You can bump it down here so that you know you need to transfer that over. Easy peasy. All the weeks are the same. And then when we get to the end of the week or end of the month, we have that blank page at the back just lined. And then we pop into the next page. Now these are not as thick as a file folder, but they are definitely thicker than the regular paper. And these are really nice. These are stuck down quite low, so those are really, really sturdy. The paper for a plum paper planner, they're all the same. It is a slick, very smooth paper. Uh, ink does take a few minutes to absorb on this. So if you like writing with inky pens, like a, a 1.0, maybe even a 0.7, anything over a 0.7 point, a 0.7 point, <laughs> I think you will have smear problems. Um, if you're a left-handed writer, I would definitely not recommend uh, using anything over a 0.3. As far as fountain pens go, they do ghost a little bit. This paper is thinner than the EC's or the Happy Planners. It's it's thicker than the Hobonichi Tombow River paper, but as you know, Hobonichi paper is completely different than most papers where it doesn't bleed through or ghost. So to the touch, it feels silky, very, very silky. It doesn't have that toothy feel. Um, and toothy feel, I would compare a toothy feeling paper to like a book. Like if you've got a paperback book, you know how it feels kind of toothy. Almost like you can feel the paper grain in your faint between your fingers. I know that sounds so <laughs> crazy. This you can't feel the grain. There is no feeling the grain. It is, it's like after you put lotion on your skin and it's like really, really slick. That is what this paper feels like. Um... All of the other paper I've shown you feels like your hands have been using paper all day and they've got that texture to it. There's no texture to this paper. So that was a long conversation about <laughs> paper. All right, so then it looks like I have an academics tab and I'm not sure what I was thinking unless I was planning on taking some courses. I was done with college in 2020, right? Yeah, I was done with college. So. I don't know why I added this part in here, but if you're a student, this is a great way to keep track of your classes. If you're a forever learner like I am, um, I am constantly taking classes online, whether it be from Skillshare or at work, I will schedule myself to take classes about Outlook or Excel or Word or Adobe, all of the programs that I use on a regular basis, I will take courses on. So maybe this is why I, I did this portion of it was just to keep track of my forever learning. Um, right now I am trying to pass the uh, some some classes, some some courses for more of a like internet technologies uh, position. So we'll see <laughs> we'll see how those go. So this is really cool. It's got you know all sorts of different things. If you're a teacher, I, I would imagine that this would also be helpful. Um, uh, it's very cool. Campus contacts, your final schedule, which semester you're in, your exam study tracker. Yeah, all of this is really cool. Assigned reading. That is great. Uh, group project planners. Yes, because we have all of that in school. Oh my gosh, I just had a really good idea. <laughs> so see here where it says questions? No, nope, I would 
I would white that out and I would write in really big handwriting my group and I would put a picture of all of us there because why not and then when you flip through it like 10 years down the road you'll be like oh my gosh I remember this I tell you it's it's all about thinking ahead <laughs> uh, brainstorming mile ta milestone tasks these are great I don't know why I got it but shoot there's a lot of information in there for you and then it looks like your internship hours and then your semester budget so smart especially if you are on like financial aid and they give you your whole year at one time you're like you have to budget that out for the whole year important formulas and references Ugh, I hope that's not referring to math because Lord knows I do not do math and I would not need that many pages to keep track We've got a notes, double notes section. So this is just gonna be lined paper that I put in there and then another note section, oh, that is dot grid. So I did a dot grid section as well. And then in the very back, I have got passwords. Yeah, passwords here, which as a person who's taking IT classes, please don't put any passwords in here. Maybe put a password hint, maybe be website, a hint for your username and then a hint for your password. Don't actually put those in there because if you lose this book in Target and somebody else finds it, I'm just saying there's just don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, contact information. I'm less worried about people getting your contacts than I am about people getting access to your websites. <laughs> oh, I tell you, there I am. Uh, U.S. holidays are there. And then a future calendar here, and it looks like this one came with a few pages, two pages of stickers that you can use. Those are cute. And then you have your folders in here that you can use for storage. And then, of course, your back and this really heavy cover. So that is the plum paper. Remember, it is 100% customizable. Whatever you can dream, they can make. Um, if this one feels like it would be right for you, let me know down in the comments. If there is something you want me to do in here to show you a layout or use stickers or, you know, if you want to see a monthly spread or one of the, the dashboard pages filled out, let me know. When I film that, I will make sure and tag your name in that video com or in the video section so that it, it lets you know that that video is available for you to view. Totally down with that. And until I see you down in the comments section before we start chatting, I hope you have a fabulous day and stay tuned. There's a lot more. Oh my gosh, there's so much more. And nobody's hell west. Okay, love you, bye.